Businesses in north central Idaho are bracing for what's expected to be a brutal winter, and that's because earlier this month, state leaders voted to suspend Idaho's steelhead fishing season. The closure takes effect later this week. The threat of a lawsuit from environmental groups prompted that action. Steelhead are popular to catch on the clear water and snake rivers. As Crim 2's Taylor Vito explains, local fishing guides say that equates to good business. This boat ramp on the Clearwater River east of Lewiston is calm now, but it'll likely stay that way, at least for steelhead fishermen, for the next several months. And local guides say that's going to be detrimental to their business. I was kind of in a shock state, disbelief, didn't think it would, would really happen. The mood for fishermen is just as chilly and cold as these waters. When they actually announced it, it, it came as a real surprise. It's a week guys like Toby Wyatt thought would never come. He's a fishing guide and runs his own company. And now Wyatt says he's expecting a third of his income to be wiped out. I started to do the math on how much we were going to lose. It's all related to these fish, steelhead. They're popular around here, but they're also federally protected. Earlier this month, the Idaho Fish and Game Commission voted to suspend the state's steelhead season. The reason? A group of half a dozen conservation groups threatened to sue Idaho due to the state not having a federal permit related to fishing. With, without the steelhead, you know, I, couldn't, I couldn't make my living on being a, a, a fishing guide. Wyatt says not being able to fish for steelhead will be a big blow. And it's not just Lewiston, but communities like Orofino and Riggins that will also be hit. Uh, it'll shut down a million dollar industry and it'll put thousands of people out of work. Another Lewiston outfitter told me he's set to lose around a quarter of his income related to the closure, which takes effect later this week. Wyatt himself has joined up with a group of local anglers and businesses to address the issue. State officials have said the season could potentially reopen in the spring, but around Lewiston, steelhead season is busiest around January and February. It won't be very cool to not be able to see that or have that. And Wyatt says that local fishermen's group is actually meeting tonight to draft some of their own resolutions regarding this issue, though they didn't plan to send those off to environmentalists and state leaders. Just outside of Lewiston, Taylor Vido, Cram 2 News.